Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane, and today I'm going to show you some cards. Saturday night, started about 5 p.m. and I got done about 8:30. I made 13 cards. Yeah, all without a die cutting machine. No Cricut involved. You can make these cards even if you don't have a Cricut or any other machine. These are all thank you cards. For all you guys, because I'm way behind and I apologize for that. Totally apologize. It's so hard for me to think of new and different cards and I like to make them all unique. I don't like to do two cards the same, so none of these cards are exactly the same. Some of them are close, but not the same. So I just wanted to show you the cards and I gotta write in them all and send them out to you guys. And I still have more to make, there's, so there's more coming. I used all of these cards with this paper pack. This paper pack is so awesome. After I did a haul video on this, if you guys miss my haul videos, they're on my vlogging channel, Melody Lane Vlogs. Look that up on YouTube. All my hauls are over there. I'll try to keep this one more crafting and inspiration. But look at, and this is one I've already used and taken out some of these papers. Look, it's foil. I love these. And that's the reason I bought these. It's because I love the paper. So there's not a whole lot you need to do to the card because the paper is so pretty it does it for you. And I saw a lot of you have purchased this since my video. I saw Crafts by Two bought this and then after I did my video they went back and bought two more. So pretty. Here's my first one. Now I did nothing on the inside of these. I'm probably just going to write a message. But added some bling. This is all one piece of paper. And I added the little bits of glitter here, and I added stickles and rhinestones to here. And I matted it with, it's a gold paper actually, it's just plain gold cardstock, and I put a little yellow glitter around it. That's it. It is only three sheets of paper. Nothing more on it, except for just a little glitter and some rhinestones. Here's one. I stamped a little thank you on there. But it's just matted with purple paper and a purple ribbon. And this one, I just cut this off as a border of one of the sheets and then put this on. And then I embossed this one with that. And then I used a file to file it down because I had white core paper to add a little bit. And I have this card. Oh, the butterflies are facing this way. So this one's going to open up like this. But I really, I added little rhinestones to the center of the flowers. And then I added some glitter on some of the stars and the butterflies, some blue stickles. And it's on blue metallic paper. That's so easy. This paper came like this. This is how it came. All I had to do was fold it in half. And folded, it's three and three quarters by four and a half. Pretty sure that's the sizing. Isn't that so pretty? Then I have another one with that paper. I have this one with purple ribbon and teal behind it and little teal rhinestones in the center of the flowers. Little teal pearls here, or rhinestones. And a thank you in blue ink. And it's foil, so it's just, it's just so pretty. Now, look at this one. This one is teal and teal ribbon. It's a little bit different color of teal paper. And these two papers were actually the same paper, paper out of this book. They were this paper. So I got two cards out of this one small piece of paper. See? I just cut this paper in half and you got two cards. This one 
I added some glitter to the butterflies, added some green gems. This I just cut with scissors out of some scrap paper I had from some other pieces and stamped it with a thank you. Put rhinestones in the flowers. Isn't it pretty? And here's another one. I did add some glitter to the paper. Some gemstones that are glittery. This one I stamped with a round thank you. And this is the paper that I had some left over to make this. And I just cut it with scissors. Isn't that pretty? And this one I didn't even mat. I did ink the edges with silver. This one's a little different. I cut, can you see that? I cut that out with a Martha Stewart punch. And I put this on, uh, poked out. I added a little glitter glue to it and a ribbon. This one is done with that same paper, but I put glitter on every single line. And then I already had this cut out. Okay, I said I didn't use anything that was from the Cricut. This actually is from the Cricut, but I already had that. That's from one of the Make It Now projects in Design Space from the birthday card that I changed to a thank you card and I never used it. So I thought that kind of looked good on here. And this is the last one. I stamped it with a thank you, put pink rhinestone in the flower, and inked the edges, added a ribbon, and that's pretty much it. If you are still owed a thank you card, I do have the list of names. But if there's one that you want of these, let me know and I'll send it to you. If there's two that want the same one, then I'll draw. Or maybe I'll make another one similar. I have more paper left. I can make more. And everyone will still get a thank you card that is sent me in a banner piece. So if there's a certain one you want, let me know. And I'll just number them from the first one to the end one. That's it for today, guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. I got more to make. Bye! I just want to throw some shout-outs to Sam, Diana, Sherry Phillips-Martin, Sandra Ramos, and Shelly McLean. Thanks, guys.